find the equations of the tangents to the circle x squared plus y squared is equal to 5 from the point 3 comma 1. So I've drawn a figure of uh, what the equation is all about. So here you've got a circle centered at 0, 0. Now this is a circle with center 0, 0 and radius of square root of 5, which is about 2.2. So I've drawn a circle to show you uh, a perspective of uh, or a graphical representation of the question. So the, and this is a point 3, 1. So from this point, 3, 1, to this circle, you can get two tangents, say L1 and L2. And uh, there's only one point of intersection uh, between the circle and the tangent. Okay, so let us start by saying let the equation of the tangent, let the equation of tangent or tangents be y is equal to mx plus c. Okay, so uh, if and both these lines L1 and L2 or the tangents are passing through 3 comma 1. So in place of x you can put 3 and in place of y you can put 1. So this implies 1 is equal to m times 3 which is 3m plus c. So which implies c is 1 minus 3m. We are going to use this later on. So let us save this as a result, say result 1. Okay, so now uh, we have got x squared plus y squared is equal to 25, sorry, phi, and we know the equation of the tangent is mx plus c. And they do intersect at one point. So as there is intersection between the circle and the tangent, in place of y, I can put mx plus c. Therefore, I'm going to write this as x squared plus y, y I can, I'm writing as mx plus c, the whole squared is equal to 5. So now to expand this, so this is x squared plus m squared x squared plus 2cmx plus c squared minus 5 is equal to 0. So now this has become a quadratic equation, so let me take the x squared out. So that is 1 plus m squared times x squared plus 2cmx plus c squared minus 5 is equal to 0. Now, <clears throat> we know that these two uh, lines, in, uh, the line and the circle intersect at only one point. So we can say that this quadratic equation has only one solution. Now we can say only one solution only one solution you can get for this equation which implies if you remember the discriminant we can say that p squared minus 4ac is equal to zero so we know a is 1 plus m squared b is 2cm and your c is c squared minus 5 so let us substitute that this implies b is 2cm the whole squared minus 4 times a is 1 plus m squared and your c is c squared minus 5. Okay, so expanding this further, this implies 4c squared m squared. I'm keeping the 4 out, so expanding the bracket, this is c squared minus 5 plus m squared c squared minus m squared is equal to 0. Now you can factor out the 4 or you can divide the whole thing by 4. So this 4 will disappear in the next step. So this implies c squared m squared minus c squared plus 5 uh, minus c squared m squared plus 5 m squared is equal to 0. So what gets cancelled? Your c squared m squared and minus c squared m squared gets cancelled. So this is a, this implies you have got uh, phi, this is phi plus 5 m squared 
is equal to c squared. Now I told you we are going to use c. What is c? c is 1 minus 3m. So in place of c I can put 1 minus 3m. This implies 5 plus 5m squared is equal to 1 minus 3m the whole squared. This implies 5 plus 5m squared is equal to expanding this. This is 1 minus 6m plus 9m squared. Again making a quadratic equation this implies 0 is equal to if you take away 9m squared 5m squared you get 4m squared minus 6m minus 4. So what I have done is basically I have moved this to the right hand side. So 9m squared minus 5m squared is 4m squared minus 6m remains minus 6m and 1 minus 5 is minus 4. So this implies you can divide all by 2. This becomes 2m squared minus 3m minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, so this uh, equal to, so factorizing by grouping, so this can be written as 4m plus 1m minus 2 is equal to 0. So this implies this is 2m plus 1 times m minus 2 is equal to 0. So the, uh, this implies m is negative half or m is equal to 2. Okay, so when m is half, when m is negative half, uh, your equation of tangent, equation of tangent would become y is equal to negative half x plus c. Now this tangent is passing through 3 comma 1, so I can put y as 1 and x as 3. So 1 is equal to minus half times 3 plus c. Now this is nothing but 2 halves plus 3 halves is equal to c, which implies c is 5 halves. Therefore, the equation is y is equal to negative half x plus 5 halves. So this is one equation of the tangent. Okay, we're almost there. So if this is the tangent, if suppose if this is the gradient, uh, you can say when m is when m is 2, the equation of tangent, the equation of tangent would become y is equal to 2x plus c. Again, you can put y as 1 and x as 3. So 1 is equal to, if you put 3 here, 6 plus c, which implies c is negative 5. So the other equation of the tangent is y is equal to 2x minus 5. Okay, so let us go back to our diagram. So L1 has a positive gradient, so I can say y, L, this L1 has the equation of 2x, 2x, uh, 2x plus 5, 2x, or oh, this has a negative gradient, sorry, this has a, oops, this has a negative gradient, okay, I was in a hurry to finish, so this has a negative gradient, uh, and so this equation would be L1 should be y is equal to negative half x uh, plus uh, 5 over 2, which is 2.5, and that does make sense. 5 over 2, which is, and this is, and it does pass through, y is equal to 2x minus 5. It seems to be passing through 5. Our diagram is not exact. So, uh, we can confirm this on a graphic calculator. So, let us, uh, it's difficult. Okay, so let us only confirm whether they're passing, they pass through 3 and 1, just to check whether. So, go to your graph and type in minus 0.5x plus 2.5 and 2x 
minus 5. And these two lines are also perpendicular to each other. That's an interesting fact. So these are perpendicular to each other and the intersection is 3 comma 1. 